Hey there Cosmic Warriors and welcome back to my Mars series. Okay, so in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Mars in Sagittarius leader as we describe the Mars in Sagittarius leadership. Now before we do get started, if you would like to know more information about the Mars signs, the Mars houses, the Aries houses, the first house, then I have created an Aries season ebook. I'm going to put a link to that ebook in the description box so you can pick up your copy today. Alright, so with all of those tongue twisted introductions out of the way, Mars in Sagittarius. Let's do this. Alright, so what I want you to imagine is that the Mars signs are having a race against one another. Now, the Mars in Sagittarius, they just might jump at the opportunity if it means them getting to kick other people's asses and become the winner. <laughs> However, okay, this is the thing about Mars and Sagittarius is that they're not as competitive as the Mars and Aries and they're also not as confident as the Mars and Leo. However, one would suggest that the Mars and Sagittarius can be rather cocky in their approach. And one person springs to mind who has her Mars and Sagittarius and that is none other than the, you know, the artist who sang the song Cockiness, Rihanna. Oh yeah, there is no other person coming along to tell a Mars and Sagittarius who they can and can't be, if they'll win, if they'll lose, if the Mars and Sagittarius decides for themselves in that moment that they are going to win it then they already sort of imagine themselves sitting within the riches and the rewards from winning. The Mars and Sagittarius already sort of knows like, I've already won this so I don't like need to really get myself worked up too much. I mean, I live for the moment anyway and I seize the day and I see opportunity everywhere I go so yes let's win it but at the same time the mars and sagittarius is just like on to the next one then however with that being said the key still lies in the opportunity arriving for the mars and sagittarius so let's say for example that the mars and sagittarius is applying for a new job and so they've applied for many different positions and roles. Once the Mars in Sagittarius gets the go ahead with that opportunity, so for example, once they land an interview, phew, the Mars in Sagittarius just might excel within that particular interview. They are going to perform so well with their charisma. They are going to be inquisitive towards the interviewers. They are going to do their research and know what questions to ask the interviewers. They're going to be witty. They're going to be humorous. They're going to be really quick, so fast with their responses to things. And they are going to happily share their credentials with those interviewers and really amp themselves up, like build themselves up to this image of like, this is me, like Jupiter ruled, Mars and Sagittarius, let's go. And it's through this high, impactful, optimistic, positive energy that the Mars and Sagittarius leader become, can become such a great leader where they can actually help inspire and encourage and motivate others. Yeah, like I'm here for a reason. I'm here for a meaning. Like I have a meaning and you have a meaning and you have a meaning. And so this is why the Mars and Sagittarius can excel and be such a great leader because they know that they're here and they, they have a meaning, but they also can encourage others and show them that they have a meaning as well. They understand the importance of believing in the win 
believing that the opportunity that you're about to see sort of go towards that the opportunity is already yours because you believe it. You believe and have great faith that even <clears throat> kind of similar with the Mars and Leo, that even if they win or they don't win, that they have faith in themselves enough that once a door closes from not winning, there will be other ones that will open. Or as a door opens with the winning, well, it would also close off other ones too. But it's just that with the Mars and Sagittarius energy, because it's so mutable, they may see all of these different doors and they're like, um, well, what if I go through this one? Will it close off that one? I, I understand that it might, but then at the same time, they can also realize that just because they choose a certain opportunity and other opportunities are sort of closed off, it doesn't mean necessarily that it's closed off. That that's just for that moment. Seriously, it's just gonna be the Mars in Sagittarius leader who can get so passionate and enthusiastic about life. And if they feel that their meaning is located within a certain job or towards a certain person or towards a certain situation in their lives, then the Mars in Sagittarius is going to place a lot of their energy and a lot of their drive into those very things. But you know what? At the same time, at the same time, this fired up energy that the Mars and Sagittarius can have, it can irritate other people <laughs> as well a little bit. Whilst yes, their pumped up energy can either spark these huge just gusts of like, yeah, enthusiasm and positivity within others, it can also bring out their anger. It can also bring out their annoyances and their frustrations too. And I think that this is due to their just blatantly, just straight to the heart, just blunt, direct energy. This is Mars, this is action, this is drive, this is bull. And it's this very energy that can rub off on certain people especially people who are more sensitive. What are Mars signs, for example? Plus, the Mars in Sagittarius also has a tendency of winding people up just to get a reaction out of them. <laughs> this type of behavior, again, it can irritate people or it can liven people up and make them just be like, oh my gosh, Mars and Sagittarius, you really irritate me, but you know what? I kind of like you. They also know how to put a smile on other people's faces. Let's say, for example, that a friend is hanging out with the Mars and Sagittarius and the Mars and Sagittarius notices that the friend is always selling themselves short. Well, in the Mars and Sagittarius' eyes. So what the Mars and Sagittarius might do is they might turn to their friend and say, why are you always selling yourself short? Don't you see that like, you've done so much, you've done this, you've done this. They can just, you know, give people that nudge, like, good job, like, you're doing amazing. The Mars and Sagittarius leader is going to be a leader who really just prefers to dive into potentially many different areas. So you may just find them jumping from one thing to the next, but through them jumping from one thing to the next, they bring those experiences along with them on their journey. So for example, right, we have Rihanna. Now Rihanna, she has a Capricorn Midheaven with her Mars and Sagittarius, and apparently she dropped a lingerie line last year, and she also has her own cosmetics line. Rihanna also had her own fragrances, she was an actress on Ocean's 8, and she also launched her own footwear as well, I believe. Meaning that it's the Mars and Sagittarius leader that is just gonna be so open to new things, to new experiences, to new opportunities. And this can be one of their many strengths. Take Ellen DeGeneres, for example, okay? Now, she has her Mars and Sagittarius, and apparently she worked as a bartender, a waitress, a house painter, and an oyster sucker to pay the bills before she launched um, she launched then her career in stand-up comedy. On that note, the Mars and Sagittarius can make great comedians. They can just be so funny. They even have the likes of Jack Black and he has his Mars and Sagittarius. But then again, this energy can also result in the person with their Mars and Sagittarius 
just saying things as they are, right? Just saying things with courage. I mean, we have George Carlin. He had his Mars in Sagittarius, and apparently he was a he was a comedian. He was an actor. He was an author, and he would just talk about certain issues within politics, um, within religion, psychology, for example. Books, what happened here? Suddenly everybody needs to be motivated? It's a fairly simple thing. Either you want to do something or you don't. What's the big mystery? Besides, if you're motivated enough to go to the store to buy a motivation book, aren't you motivated enough to do that? So you don't need the book. Put it back. Tell the clerk, fuck you, I'm motivated. I'm going home. I'm going home. Right. Yes, the Mars and Sagittarius leaders can be excellent researchers. So if they are passionate about that thing they're researching, if it really gets them just looking into their higher knowledge and just seeking more information and getting into more discovery, if they feel passionate about that and motivated about that particular subject or philosophy or whatever it is, they're gonna just put, they're just, yeah, they're just gonna go to town on it. They're gonna love it. They're gonna soak it up. And whilst they are soaking up that knowledge with their passion, they're gonna be able to come up with these amazing, expansive theories and concepts. I mean, we have Carl Jung. Carl Jung had a Sagittarius midheaven and his Mars in Sagittarius. And he, to me, was just such a great researcher who was able to come up with so many different theories and concepts that other people today like they still they still look at his work and the cherry on top of the cake with this example is actually Sigmund Freud I talked about Sigmund Freud in the Mars and Libra video and apparently Sigmund Freud and Carl Jung they worked together they put their masterminds together and why I'm bringing this up is because in the Mars and Libra video I talked about how they can join with another person and really just progress further with that person. Another thing to mention though when it comes to Mars and Sagittarius is this whole concept of actors or actresses and even singers getting their lucky break. So for example, you may say that Judy Garland, who had her Mars and Sagittarius, she might have got her lucky break from The Wizard of Oz. Then we have John Travolta, and you could say perhaps that he had his lucky break from being in the movie Grease. And if we were to take this step further and bring two people with their Mars and Sagittarius, Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams, they might have gotten their lucky break through the movie The Notebook. All very, very popular movies that were huge, like huge, huge, huge with the public. And so from that huge attraction, it could be suggested that it's those movies that just generated most of their fortune. And speaking of uh, uh, landing a lucky break, right? Well, there's also one person we can mention here as this person landed her lucky break through, well, sex. And that person is none other than Kim Kardashian. Remember, Mars can be connected with our sex drive. And so with Mars and Sagittarius, well, you do the math. Where would the Kardashians be today if not for Kimmy K's sex tape? And when it does come to sex, okay, well, the Mars and Sagittarius sex drive, you just might find them jumping from bed to bed or from experience to experience with all that mutable scattered fire energy that they've got going on, okay, that just wants to consume, it wants to indulge in whatever it can handle. If it is, for example, that the Mars and Sagittarius experiences an accidental pregnancy or they get somebody else pregnant by accident, they may also see that that accident is still an opportunity. For example, we've got Jack Nicholson. Now Jack Nicholson, he apparently was married and then he had a child to his then wife. However, they then got divorced and then Jack Nicholson, he got into another relationship and he had two other children. Now he has Mars and Sagittarius in the fifth house, okay? So the fifth house is of course connected with children. And what he said was, as a father, I'm there all the time. I give unconditional love. 
Overall, the Mars and Sagittarius leader is going to be one wild and free leader who sees opportunities in all aspects of life. And sure, yeah, they could get restless and they may not finish things. But you know what? At the end of the day, if there's one thing about the Sagittarius leaders that gives them a huge advantage point, that is that they know how to count their blessings. Okay then, Cosmic Warriors, so that concludes the Mars and Sagittarius leadership as we describe the Mars and Sagittarius leader. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and of course, if you would like to see more videos from myself, then go right ahead and click that subscribe button if you have not done already. And I will be back with the Mars in Capricorn video very, very soon.